Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to use Photoshop templates to create this design. You don't have to have a Photoshop experience for today's video. All you need to do is to follow the simple instructions on the screen to reach the same result. Now before we start, please hit the like and subscribe button for future notifications. Now let's start. Today we are going to use a website called Vexels. Vexels offers hundreds of PSD ready-to-use templates and also ready-for-print designs that you can use for any print-on-demand site with an official license. It is a perfect place for those who don't have graphic design experience at all. You will find a link in the description for it. Now let's go to the merch section and choose one of the designs. I like this template. So let's download it. Remember, you need to have Photoshop installed on your computer to use this template. After downloading the template and opening it in Photoshop, you might get a notification if there are some fonts missing on your computer. In this case, all you need to do is search for the font name on Google, download and install them, and reopen the template. In your Photoshop, we need to have the Layers panel visible as you can see on my screen. If you can't see the Layers panel, go to Windows at the top of your screen menu and choose Panels. Now each layer on our menu on the left side represents one of the items we see in the design. If we click the eye icon in front of each layer, we can see the effect of each layer on the design. Let's begin by hiding the Instructions layer which comes by default with all templates we download from Vexels. By clicking on the layer twice, we will open this layer in a separate window. Our first layer here represents the image of the design. I will use one of the photos that I have downloaded from Unsplash. Unsplash provides copyright free images in high resolution. Remember, you need a high resolution image for your design so that you won't face any problems with printing. Press Ctrl plus T to select and adjust the image to fit the size you want. After that, press Ctrl plus S to save the image. If we go back to the design panel, we can see that the image has been replaced successfully. Now let's do the same with the text layer. Finally, we can choose one of the effects provided by this layer. 
By unhiding the layer, we can see the effect on the photo. We can check how each effect looks like in the photo and then choose the best one we like. I think I like this one. Remember to press Ctrl plus S to save the final choices. Finally, you need to export the design to PNG format. To do so, click on File from your top menu and then Export. Vexels offers hundreds of similar templates with different effects and designs. They also offer a mock-up generator and other features that I will discuss in detail in future videos. If you liked the video, please hit the like and subscribe button for further tutorials. Thanks for watching.